Okay, we're gonna show you how a real Doomer lives. <laughs> oh man, I am out in East Bumblefuck, Kentucky at home of my Doomer friends, Dan and Judy. And this is uh, where they have holed up for the collapse of global industrial civilization here in the end times where it is a spectacularly gorgeous I've lost what day of the week it is it might be a Tuesday and it might be October 29th but I'm not sure about any of that so <laughs> this is a uh, Dan and Judy try to figure out where are they going to hide out from the the bands of roving zombies as everything comes down and uh, they picked out this spot in uh, <laughs> East Bumblefuck, Kentucky. Good Lord. So, uh, <laughs> let's see. What the, I drove in here. I drove in here last night after dark and, and, and uh, I'm thinking what the fuck uh, I'm not real sure how they're gonna I'm not real sure how they're gonna drive to the grocery store uh, after the collapse of global industrial civilization although I think the whole point is that there's not going to be any grocery stores to drive through I think I just made a much bigger mess of my windshield uh, than I started with. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> I hope they have all the supplies they need. Uh, and they are a resourceful couple. <coughs> uh, Good lord. But uh, any zombie who does find his way. Oh shit, I'm assuming this. I don't like e e any choice I have. Good god. I dropped off my trailer at the. At their kids Airbnb at the bottom of this mountain good God almighty you know and, and, it, and it's trees falling across this road I can see where I guess he just I guess Dan just keeps a chainsaw uh, in his truck they probably both keep chainsaws in their truck because good lord with all the trees dying here in the collapse of everything. Uh, how many trees are going to be falling across this road? Uh, you know, these guys aren't getting any younger. I mean, they're my age, mid-60s. And <laughs> I'm thinking, good lord. Uh... I thought I lived out in the middle of fucking nowhere. I told them last night that when everything comes down, I'm coming to join them up here. They didn't have much comment to me coming to join them in the apocalypse up here in their little bivouac. So, uh... These, these guys, uh, I, I mean, Dan and Judy, they, they fucking walk their doomer talk. Uh, they're, they're, they're not some of the, they're, they're not somebody sitting around in a, in their suburban ranch home, uh, <laughs> sitting on an overstuffed couch, drinking margaritas, talking about, uh, the, the, the collapse of everything, I mean. They have done their homework. Uh, <laughs> uh, good Lord.
and I'm trying to remember if I if I saw a bulldozer in, in their yard in front of their tiny house but Sunset was there a bulldozer up there uh, yeah how, <laughs> this is 100% their responsibility to to keep this road graded. It's, it's not like it, it's not like they call the the road grading association. I hope I took the right turn. I uh, <laughs> I might be I might be driving off. Okay. Uh, this is getting a little bit concerning. Sancho, did did we drive this far last night? Okay, I am ready for the uh, for the next level of civilization. You know, whenever you get in situations like this, and you, and you start doubting, oh, what the fuck am I going through? When you when you start doubting that that you might have made a wrong turn, you you have to uh, you know you have to make that decision. At what point do I turn around and and go back? Although I don't exactly know where I would turn around. Okay, I really really uh want to see the next level of civilization this is getting a a little bit weird oh jesus what in the hell have i got myself into on this beautiful morning all right this is getting too the the, the, the this is getting too weird i have made I, I all right little dog did we or did we not do this last night but I just there's only one place I could have made a wrong turn I got a full tank of gas I have no warning lights on this truck Jesus. All right. Um, should I turn around there or should I keep going? Obviously, this road is going somewhere. Uh, some moonshine, some hillbillies moonshine still in East Bumblefuck, Kentucky. Oh, fuck. You know. <laughs> I waste no time in getting myself in adventures. Uh, okay, do I see the next level? Alright, I see the uh, the penis rock. I see the Harris Waltz sign. And uh, we have the <laughs> we have Kentucky for Harris Waltz that ought to be a, that, that ought to be a, a pretty small sample of people and we have the uh, the penis monolith all right so we have made it past the Harris Waltz penis monolith and now we're on the next level of all right we're on the next level of civilization okay um, we are not in downtown Pittsburgh uh, Pennsylvania although I must say it was it was easier finding this place than my friend's house in downtown Pittsburgh but of course I had a very nice young man take me up here because uh, I, 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 you know, I could have been fucked last night C compared to uh, what I went through in, uh, considering what I went through in 
the, the middle of Pittsburgh. Uh, I could have been uh, seriously fucked trying to find this place in the dark. Good Lord. <laughs> I will not complain about having to drive uh, from my house at Bugs in a Jar Farm uh, to Ithaca, New York, to the grocery store, to the Wegmans. Uh, <laughs> have we passed one house? I don't think we, I don't think we have passed one single house. Oh uh, boy. I gotta say Judy is, 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 my friend Judy is one brave woman. I, I think she was the, the high school teacher in this little town. Uh, and uh, she ended up <laughs> meeting this doomer. Ah, let, let, this, uh, let this be a lesson to any woman thinking about uh, getting in a relationship with a doomer this could be what you're buying for the rest of your life uh, do not fall in love with a doomer uh, th th this is what you could be trading in your comfortable life as a school teacher uh, <laughs> when you want to go to the grocery store and uh, pick up a gallon of milk Uh -oh. <coughs> okay. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better about civilization. All right. We have reached no. That is the first house that we have passed okay we must be getting close to pavement by now uh, all right pavement is there pavement in the state of Kentucky and I did this after driving from Pittsburgh. I, I did this drive last night at the, uh, at the end of a seven hour drive from downtown Pittsburgh. I do not believe it. We see pavement. Good God Almighty. All right. Airbnb, here I come.